comes from flax. The priests wore uh, linen garments that were that was spun and weaved and created by the women of Israel in the wilderness. Uh, so just to give you an example, uh, so the Most High uh, uh, wanted his priests to wear this uh, fine linen. And uh, the tapestry of the tabernacle was, um, parts of it was um, made of fine twined linen. Uh, and she delivers girdles unto the merchants. So she's not only making these things, uh, making these items, <coughs> excuse me, for uh, her community, but she's also the things that are extra and so on. Uh, it may not even be extra, but she's first dealing with the household of God and the things that uh, may come of, uh, come out of that is that she began to do commerce. She begins to sell the extra that she has so that she can still be, still bring in uh, uh, income into her community. Uh, and this woman sort of looked like an entrepreneur to me um, because, you know, she, and along with the other women, she's not doing this alone because remember she gave a portion to her maidens. So uh, they work together to, to produce these items. Uh, the women of the Creator that was uh, coming together to produce items for the community of, of God. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom. What is wisdom? Well, it says that the one who feared the Lord, uh, uh, that person uh, begins to, to receive wisdom. That's the beginning of wisdom. So it says... Uh, that she opens her mouth with wisdom. So when she speaks, is uh, is of the understanding of the Creator. It's coming from the law, statutes, and commandments of the Creator. And in her tongue is the law of kindness. Okay, she know how to treat people well. Uh, she has compassion. Uh, she has integrity. Uh, she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the, uh, the bread of idleness. She looketh well. Uh, that is also looking at the, how she looks into the distance, how she peers into the distance. Uh, I wanted to read that to you where that is from to look look as well as 6822 and that means to peer into the distance uh, by implication to observe await to keep watch the watchman and remember what we read about the keeper before it says a guard to beware. So all these things that we have read uh, that she do for her community goes right back to this keeper or worker at home, which is this guard of the community, this watchman of the community to help the community to prepare for the days of ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so she looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. So she's not slothful. She has much work to do. We have much work to do. We have to be industrious, sisters, and get down to business, to learn how to spend, to learn how to weave, to learn how to sew. We have to learn how to even grow our own foods again. 
We have to learn how to can, how to preserve foods for our, for our community, for the body of Christ. Uh, we have to learn how to make our own soaps, make our own lotions, okay? Our own toothpaste. All these things are possible, and, and women have done it around the world and are doing it. What are we doing, women of Elohim, daughters of Israel? What are we doing? What are we bringing to the table to help provide for the household of faith? Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou, you, excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feared the Lord, she shall be praised. We don't need to look for praise from anyone else, truly, but from the Most High. We don't need to praise ourselves and glorify ourselves. Remember, we talked about vain glory. Okay, having this self-esteem or self-confidence that is in your own works. Okay, in your own abilities. 